Well, first of all, you're from Hawaii. No. <laughs> which is a state, but it's very far away, farther than people realize. Did you know that Washington was like this? No. Yeah. No. I, I came in both to Congress as well as uh, even even coming into my campaign for president with with the hope of the opportunity of being able to speak to the American people, uh, to be able to present these issues that are that are that drove me to run for president, that drove me to run for Congress, of, of having served on, on two deployments to the Middle East, of, of understanding in the most deep and visceral way the cost of war and the responsibility, the most important responsibility that any president has is to serve as commander in chief and make these decisions that directly impact my brothers and sisters in uniform. I, I served in a medical unit during my first deployment where every single day I was confronted with that human cost of war. I had to go through a list every day of every casualty and injury of any American in, the, in uh, operating in Iraq uh, during that time. And knowing that behind every one of those names um, was one of my brothers and sisters in uniform with family members and exactly. loved ones at home, uh, some who would never ever be able to say uh, their last and final goodbye. Uh, they are the ones who I have kept with me uh, since I came home uh, and throughout all of my efforts to say we need to have leaders who are making responsible decisions about our foreign policy, about where and when our troops are sent into combat, about understanding the need to say, hey, before we do anything, we need to understand, we need a clear objective. We need to know what we are trying to accomplish and why, and does it serve the best interests of the American people, our country, and our national security. Know that we can actually accomplish this objective. So often we've seen failures, costly failures, both to the American people and in other countries with one regime change war after the next, yeah. where our leaders fail to ask and answer these very basic questions that I can tell you a young lieutenant in the military knows, you don't launch an operation until you know what is your objective build your strategy, a winnable strategy to accomplish that objective and understand, does it serve our best interests of the uniform that we wear and the flag that we wear on our shoulder? These are, ba these are baseline considerations. Basic. I'm